Hi everyone, today I am going to teach you another interesting lesson. Equations. Solve the following linear equations. So, will you solve these equations now? I will take the first one. x plus 12 equals 20. Okay, so this is a. <clears throat> so x, you have to remove plus 12, so I will do the opposite, minus 12. 20. So I will do the same thing to the other side also. Minus 12. Plus 12 to minus 12. It cut off. 20 minus 12 is 8. x is equal to 8 here. Then we'll do the next one. b. x minus 7 equals 2. So x minus 7, what is the opposite of minus 7? It is plus 7. So you have to do the same thing to the other side also. Minus 7 plus 7 get cut off. x is equal to 9 then the next one, C, 5 plus M is equal to 8. So, 5, now here, uh, what is the opposite of plus 5? That is minus 5. Plus M equals 8, and do the same thing to this side also. These two get cut off, M is equal to plus 3. Then D, 2X equal 16. So what is in between 2 and x? Multiplication. What is the opposite of multiplication? That is division. So you can remove 2 by doing division. So you have to do the same thing to the other side also. 2 to 2 get cut off. x is equal to 16 divided by 2 is 8. Then next on e. Minus 3x equals 6. So you can divide by minus 3. Then x, these two get cut off. x is equal to plus minus, it is minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. Answer is minus 2. Then f, 2p plus 1 equals 5. So first you can remove plus 1, so doing the opposite. So 5 minus 1, these two get cut off, 2p is equal to 4. Then you can divide both sides by 2. These two get cut off. What's the answer? P is equal to 2. The next one. 3b, g. Okay. 3b minus 7 equals 2. 3b minus 7 opposite plus 7. This side also do the same. These two get cut off. 9. 3b equals 9. So you can divide both the sides by 3. Then b is equal to 9 divided by 3 is 3. b is equal to 3 here. Then h. x over 2 equals 3. So you can remove 2 by doing multiplication. Opposite of 2. Division is multiplication. 2 to 2 get cut off. X is equal to 6. Then next one. I. 2P divided by 2 equals 6. So 2P divided by 2. You can multiply by 2. Both the sides. These 2 get cut off. 12. 2p equals 12, so we can divide this by 2. Then p equals what? 12 divided by 2 is 6. p equals 6. Then j. m over 5 minus 1 equals 8. So m over 5, what is the opposite? Plus 1. So we also can do the same thing. Cut off. M over 5 equals what? Now, 
and you can multiply by 5 and remove this 5. Then m is equal to what? 45. Right? Then next start. 2x plus 3 equals 11. First, you can solve the bracket 2x, then 2 multiplied by 3 is plus 6. 11. So 2x plus 6 opposite minus 6. P also minus 6. These two get cut off. 11 minus 6 is 5. 2x is equal to 5. Then you can divide. Then x is equal to 2.5. So x is 2.5. The next one. 3, 1 minus 6 equals 9. So you can multiply 3 minus 3x equals 9. So what's opposite of plus 3 minus 3? And do the same thing this side. These two get cut off. Minus 3x equals 6. Then you can divide this by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 is minus 2 is the answer here. Hope you understood these sums. Solving linear equation with two types of brackets. There are several types of brackets that we use. So we call these types of brackets as parentheses. And we call these type of brackets as curly brackets. And we call these types of brackets as square brackets. Parentheses, curly brackets, square brackets. When applying brackets, the usual practice is to first use the parentheses. First, you have to solve the things inside parentheses. Then the curly brackets and finally you have to solve the square brackets. Example. So you can see we have parentheses and well, it has curly brackets. So according to the rule, first you have to solve parentheses, right? Okay, so let's take some. So here you can see the 2 is outside, right? So we can remove that 2 by dividing. So first, since in between the multiple brackets and the 2, we have multiplication. The opposite is division. So 38 divided by 2, then here 2 to 2, you can find. 32, 38 divided by 2 is 19. And here remaining 3, bracket 2x minus 1, plus brackets plus 4. Then you can solve the parentheses, right? So, two, so here you can multiply. Here, 6x. 3 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 3 plus 4. Then minus 3 plus 4 was the answer is plus 1. So 6x plus 1 is equal to 19. Then you can remove 1 by doing the opposite, minus 1. Then 6x is equal to 18. So 6x equals 18. Then you can divide both sides by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Then these two get cut off. x will be equal to 3, right? Example 2. Solve 5 curly brackets 4 parentheses x plus 3 close parentheses minus 2. Uh, then again open parentheses x minus 1 close parentheses and curly brackets. So equals 72. So first you can, uh, what, do, what can you do here? Uh, first you can write this out as it is. Then after that, uh, you can solve the parentheses, right? Because uh, you can't divide this by 5. What's the reason? Because 72 is not divisible by 5. So if you do like that, at the beginning, okay, you will be messed up. You can do that, no problem. But you will be messed up. So we can uh, go through parentheses first. So x plus 3 from here. You can see x minus 1 is inside parentheses. When you solve the bracket 2x plus 12. Minus 2x here yeah, plus 2. So... When you solve, this is the answer. Okay. 
72. Then here you can 4x minus 2x is 2x plus 12 plus 2 is plus 14, right? Then you can solve curly bracket 10x. 5 times 14 is 70. It's equals 72. Then you can remove plus 70 by doing minus 70 to both the sides. 72 minus 70 is 2. And here 10x. So you can divide this by 10. The 2 divided by 10 is what? 1 over 5. So x is equal to what? 1 over 5. So it can take fractional values even, even decimal values. Solve the following equations. So shall we solve this? So I will take A. Two curly brackets, parentheses, close parentheses, plus two curly brackets equals A2. So here we can first divide whole equation by two, right? Two to two you can cut. Then here, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So here remaining what? Here remaining 2. X minus 1. Plus 2, right? Then you can solve the brackets. 2X. Here, minus 2. Then here plus two equals now. Then plus two to minus two, you can cut off two x is equal to nine. Then you can divide this by two. Then x will be equal to what? X will be equal to nine divided by two. It's four point five. Then B. 5, curly brackets, 3, x plus 2, minus 2, x minus 1, close curly brackets, equals 60. And here, you can directly divide this by 5 first, because 60 also divisible by 5. Then 3, x plus 2, minus 2, x minus 1. 60 divided by 5 is 1, is 12. Then, what can you do here? Now, here, you can solve the brackets, right? 3x plus 6 minus 2x plus 2. Then, 3x minus 2x is x. Plus 6 plus 2 is plus 8. 12. Okay. Then here, x you can remove plus 8 by doing the opposite minus 8. These two get cut off. Then x will be equal to what? 4. The answer for x is 4. Then next stop, c. 6 plus 2 brackets x plus 3, x plus 2, those brackets, then 58. Okay. Then, here, first you can solve the brackets, right? So, x plus 3, x plus 6 equals 58. Then here, plus 3 plus 6 is what? That is, oh, sorry, we have 3x. Okay, now here, 4x plus 6, right? Then, here you can uh, remove 6 from here, 
Okay, by doing the opposite, minus 6 plus 6 plus 2 needs to get cut off. So, we have to do the same thing to the other side also. Then 58 minus 6 is 52. Then you have 2 here. 4x plus 6. Okay. Then you can divide both the sides by 2. Then 2 to 2 get cut off. Okay. So here then uh, 4x plus 6. Is equal to 52 divided by 2 means 26, right? Okay. So I will do the remaining part here. So here now 4x plus 6 is equal to 26, right? Then 4x, you can remove plus 6 by doing opposite. These two get cut off. 20. 4x is equal to 20 here. And you can divide both the sides by 4. Then x is equal to what? 5. So x is 5 here. D. D. Five bracket two plus three parentheses plus two close curly brackets. So here, what could we do first? You can divide this by five, right? Then 5 to 5 get cut off. Then 2 plus 3. X plus 2. Will be equal to 5. Then here you can solve the brackets. 2 plus 3. X plus 2. Equals 5. 2 plus 2 is 3. X plus 4. Is equal to 5. Uh, sorry, here 3x, here 6, it should be 6. Okay. Then, now, uh, hold on. Here, plus 2. So here, then uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. 3x plus 8 is equal to 5. Then 3x plus 8. What is the opposite? Minus 8. Then here also minus. Here 10 divided by 5 is 2. It should be 2. I'll correct that. 2. Then 2. Minus 8 is what? Minus 6, right? So, 3x is equal to minus 6, right? Right here. So, 3x equals minus 6. You can divide by 3. Then, x is equal to minus 2. So, x is minus 2. Then, we'll move to the next one. E. Curly brackets 3 y minus 1 minus 2 y equals 2. So you can divide by 2. So 2 to 2 get cut off. Okay, then here 1. Okay, so 3 y minus 3. Minus 2y. 
So three y minus two y is y minus three is equal to. So here y you can do the opposite plus three one plus three. Then these two get cut off. Y is equal to four. Here. Then f seven x plus five curly brackets. 4 minus x plus 1 equals 17. Those curly bands. So here 7x plus 5, 4 minus x minus 1. Close curly band 17. Then after all, you can solve this. Seven next plus five. Four minus one is three minus x equals seventeen. Then you can solve seven next plus fifteen minus five x equals seventeen. Seven next minus five x is two x plus fifteen is equal to seventeen. Then two x. Plus 15, you can do the opposite, minus 15, 17, minus 15. And after that, plus 15 to minus 15, cut off here, 2x will be equal to 17 minus 15 is 2. Then 2, you can divide this by 2, then x is equal to what? 1 here. So the value for x is 1 here. So that's how we use parentheses for events to solve the sums. Solving linear equations containing fractions. Now we are going to solve linear equation which containing fra fractions. So here you can see. X plus 3 divided by 2 is 15. Now first you have to remove this 2. So this is division, what's opposite of division? Multiplication. So you can multiply by 2 and you can remove these two get cut off. 15 times 2 is 30. Then x plus 3 is 30. Then you can remove this plus 3 by doing the opposite minus 3 to both the sides. These two get cut off. x is equal to 30 minus 3 is 27. y over 2 minus y over 3 equals 9. So here you can remove the how to uh, first okay multiply both sides by six the LCM of the denominator is two and three. So you can just multiply this by two and three. So you have to find the LCM. So LCM of two and three is six, right? So six and here also you have to multiply this by six. So two times one, yeah, two times three. Okay, three times one, three times two. Then it will be 3y and 2y. 3y minus 2y is 1. Then when you are doing, if you are multiplying it by the same, you have to do the same thing to the other side also. So here, 54. Okay, 9 times 6 is 54. Then y is equal to 54. And see this example. So first you can uh, remove 2 from here. So by dividing it. Okay. Then this get cut off. Then divided by 3 is 5. So m over 3 minus 1. So you can remove minus 1 here. After removing 2. So you can do the opposite plus 1 to both the sides. These two get cut off. 5 plus 1 is 6. So m over 3 is 6. So here division. So you can do multiplication. And you can remove it. So. These two get cut off, then 6 times 3 is 18. M is equal to 18. Solve each of the following equations. So, shall we solve this?
go here. A x minus 2 over 5 equals 4. So you can remove 5 first, right? Like this, then 5 to 5 get cut off. So x minus 2 is equal to 20. Then x, what is the opposite? Plus 2. 20 plus 2 is 1. x is equal to these two will cut off 22. Then B. Y plus 8 divided by 3 equals 5. So you can remove 3 first by doing the opposite. Division, the opposite is multiplication. So 15. So Y plus 8 is equal to 15. Then you can do the opposite and remove plus 8. And 15 also minus 8. Then here 7. Y is equal to what? 7 here. Then C, 2A divided by 3 plus 1 equals 7. So here first you have to remove plus 1. So do the opposite. Minus 1, 7 minus 1 is 6. These two get cut off. 2A divided by 3 equals 6. So you can multiply both the sides by 3 and remove 3. Okay, like this. Then 2a is equal to what? 18. So you can divide both the sides by 2. Then a is equal to what? So the 2 get cut off. 18 divided by 2 is 9. a is 9 here. <laughs> then b. 5b divided by 2 minus 3 equals 2. So 5b divided by 2 opposite is plus 3. Then here also plus 3. These two get cut off here 5. 5b over 2. Then you can multiply this by 2 like this. 2 to 2 get cut off. 5b is equal to 10. So you can divide this by 5b will be equal to 10. Then e. 2p plus 3 over 4 equals 5. So 2p plus 3 over 4, then you can multiply both sides by 4. These two get cut off here 20. 2p plus 3 is equal to 20. Then 2p, you can do the opposite, plus 3 here, minus 3, 20 minus 3. Then these two get cut off. Twenty minus three is seventeen, right? Then two p. You can divide seventeen by two. It will be eight point five. So p is equal to what? P is equal to eight point five p. Then f three m. Minus 2 divided by 7 equals 4. So 3m minus 2, you can remove 7 by multiplying it. Since you have division, so these two get cut off. 3m minus 2, 4 times 7, 28. So 3m minus 2 was the opposite, plus 2. So here also you can do the opposite, plus 2. 28 plus 2 is 30. 3m is equal to 30. Then you can divide 3. In order to remove 3 from here, 3 to 3 get cut off. 30 divided by 3 means m is equal to what? 10. The next one. Three x over 2 plus x over 2 equals 7. What is the LCM of 2 and 4? This shall be fine. So you have to divide this by prime number until you get the remainder as 1. Then you will get the LCM. So here 2. 
So, 2 times 2, what's the same? It's 4. So, I have to multiply both the denominators by 4. Or the fractions by 4. Okay. Equals 7. So, here 4 to 4, you get cut. 2 times 1, 2 times 2. So, here 6x plus x is equal to 7. 7 x, 6x plus x, 7 x, 7. Then you can divide this by 7. Then x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1. So, this is the answer. Then h. Two m divided by three minus three m over five equals one. So we'll find the LCM of three and five. So three is a prime number. Then five is a prime number. Five times three is what? Fifteen. LCM is fifteen. So I have to multiply by fifteen. So remember, you have to multiply both by fifteen. 3 times 1, 3 times 5. 5 times 1, 5 times 3. Then here, 5 times 2 is 10 in. 3 times 3 is 9 in. Equals 1. So 1 in is equal to 1. And you divide this by 1. M is equal to what? 1. So M is M is one. Sorry. Here when you're multiplying, okay, you have to multiply this by 15 also. Then do g 3x over 2 plus x over 4 equals 7. So I told you that we have fractions, right? So you have to find the LCM. So when you're finding the LCM, 2 and 4. Okay. So you have to divide this by prime numbers until you get the remainder as 1. So 1, 2, 2 1, 1. 2 times 2 is 1. Okay. So here the LCM is 4. So we have to multiply both the fractions by 4. 4 to 4 get cut up. 2 times 1, 2 times 2. Then 3 times 2 is now we have to multiply 7 also by 4. Okay, don't forget it. Then 6x. Plus x is equal to 28. Then 7x is equal to 28. And you can divide both the sides by 7. 7 to 7 get cut off. x is equal to 4. Then we'll do the next one. 2m over 3 minus 3m over 5 equals 1. We should find the LCM of 3 and 5. So 3 here, uh, 5 is also a prime number. So 1, 1. 5, 5 times 3 is 15. We have to multiply all by 15. Here 15. Here 15. And 1 by 15. Then you can cut off 3 times 1, 3 times 5. 5 times 1, 5 times 3. 3 times 2m is 6m minus 9m equals 15, right? Sorry, here, 5 times 2, that is 10. Ten m minus nine m equals fifteen. And m is equal to fifteen. So this is the answer.
and we'll move to the next one. I. 4, 3x over 4 minus 1 equals 12, right? So, we can first divide this by 4. 4 to 4 get cut off. 3x over 2 minus 1 equals 12 divided by 4 is 2. Then you can remove minus 1 by doing the opposite. Plus 1, 3 plus 1. These two get cut off. 3x over 2 is equal to 4. Then you can multiply both the sides by 2. Then 2 to 2 gets cut off. 3x is equal to what? 8, right? So I'll do the remaining here. 3x is equal to 8. So you can divide both the sides by 3. Then... 3 times 3 to 3 times that x is equal to 8 over 3. So this is an improper. So you can convert it to mix 3 times 2, 2. So 2, 2 over 3 is the answer for x. Then it's done. 1 over 3. 2 over 3 minus 3 equals 2. We can remove 3 by multiplying. Then here 6. Two, eight, 3 to 3 get cut off 1. It has one place, so it is the same answer. Now we had to multiply this by 1, so it's the same thing. Now. So minus 3. Then what you should do? You have to remove minus 3 by doing the opposite plus 3. These two get cut off 9. 2a over 3 is 9, so you can multiply this by 3. 3 to 3 get cut off. 27, 2a is equal to 77, so you can divide this by 2, then a is equal to what? 27 divided by 2 is 13.5 is the answer here. The next one, k, m minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is equal to 4. Then, what you should do here first? You have to uh, first remove plus 1. So, minus 1, 4, minus 1. It's 3. These two get cut off, minus 3, then you can remove 2, I multiply it by 2, 6, 2 to 2 get cut off, m minus 3 is, yes. then m minus 3 do the opposite, plus 3, 6 plus 3, then m is equal to what? 9, 6 plus 3 is 9. Then the next one, x plus 1 over 2, x over 3. So previously we found that the LCM uh, of 2 and 3 is 1. We'll again divide and see here 1 and here 3 is 6, right? 3 times 2, 6. We have to multiply and get the LCM. So it is 6. So here 6. So you can multiply both the sides by 6 here. And uh, yeah, here they have given... This is equal to what? 8, right? So I've got that also 8 multiplied by 6. 2 times 1, 2 times 3. Then 3 times 1, 3 times. Then here. It will be 3x okay, so you have to multiply all the okay the whole expression here so it will be when you multiply 3x plus 3 plus 2x equals 48.
3 x plus 2 x is what? It is 5 x plus 3. 48. Then 5 x opposite. What's the opposite of plus 3? It is minus 3. 45 equals 5 x. And divide this by 5. Then x is equal to 9. And then the next one, y plus 1 over 2 plus y minus 3 over 4 equals 1 over 2. LCM of 2 and 4 is what? That is 4, right? 2 times 2 is 4. So you can multiply this by 4. You have to multiply this also by 4. So these two get cut off, 2 times 1, 2 times 2. So you have to multiply 2y plus 2 plus y minus 3 equals 2 times 1, 2 times 2 equals 2. Okay. Then after that, 2y plus y is 3y. Here, here this is minus 1 equals what? 2. Then 3 by minus 1 opposite is plus 1. Here also plus 1. These two get cut off. 3 by is equal to 3. Okay, then I'll do the remaining here. So 3 by equals 3. Can divide both the sides by 3. Then y will be equal to what? 3 here. So y value is Sorry, y value is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, it's 1 here. The next one. x plus 3 over 2 minus x plus 1 over 3 equals 2. What's the LCM of 2 and 3? It is 6. So, you can multiply all the sides by it. Here. So here, 2 times 1, 2 times 3. 3 times 1, 3 times 2. 3x plus 9. So here, minus 2x plus 2 equals 2. Okay, so here plus 2, 2 multiplied by plus 1, okay. then 2 multiplied by, uh, sorry, okay, minus x, then uh, it's minus 2 equals 12, okay. Then after that, what you should do? 3x minus 2x is x. Plus 9 minus 2 is what? 7. Plus 12. Then you can do the opposite. Minus 7. These two get cut off. x is equal to 12 minus 7 is 5. So x is what? x is 5 here. Okay, so today we learned how to solve equation with parentheses and curly brackets. And we learned about the order and also we learned how to solve equations with fractions. So hope you enjoy the video and hope you understood the lesson. So again, we'll meet up with another interesting video like this. So until that, goodbye. Thanks for watching.